My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of Solvent Season 1 and this will be a spoiler filled review so if you haven't seen this season go and watch it then come back and watch this review because I will be going in depth. And I actually started this show like a year and a half ago but then life got in the way so I finally caught up on it and finished the first season and I'm glad I did because this is a really good season of television. Lauren Ambrose is really good in the show. Neo Tiger Free, who I've never seen in anything else, is also like really great in the show. But the two standouts to me were Rupert Grint. Yes, Juan Weasley himself is in the show, and I thought he actually gave a great performance. And Toby Kebbell, who I thought gave an amazing performance in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. He comes back here and he shows once again just how talented he is as an actor. And this might be his standout role because he is really great in this show. And I also think this show looks amazing. The cinematography and the lighting just add to the tension and the atmosphere. And the way that the camera gets up really close to people's faces, it just gives the show a claustrophobic feel. And I also loved the way the food looked in the show. Yes, not only does this show look great, but the food in the show looks incredible. The prep, the cooking, the actual eating of the food, it looked delicious. Like as someone who really loves food, this show made me way hungrier than I was expecting too. And I also love how this show introduces some questions. There's a big mystery aspect to this show and you want to know what's going on. It keeps you engaged. What is this baby Jericho? Is this someone else's baby? Is Leanne actually dead? Is she a ghost? Is she a witch? What's going on? And you want to know the answers to these questions and you have so many and you don't know if you can trust the Anne. You're pretty lenient on, you can't trust her, but you're not certain, you don't know what's going on and just all those questions keep you engaged throughout. And even the backstory of what happened to Jericho, the way that they tease you that something sinister happened and when you find out what horrific thing actually happened to baby Jericho, it's really horrific. I will say that episode 9 though, the, when we actually find out what did happen to him, I do find the editing in that episode to be a tad bit messy, but it's still a really effective episode. There's also one episode where we see everything from Leanne's perspective, how Sean is getting back at her, how he doesn't trust her, so he's trying to torment her in some ways. And at first you're like, yes, go get her, Sean. But then in this episode, you're just like, oh... I don't know, Sean, I kind of feel bad for Leanne here. Like, she's not actually doing something bad. Like, you understand the worries that Sean has, because everything about this girl is questionable. But she doesn't actually do anything bad, and because of that, you do start to feel bad for her in this one episode. And I also love watching the relationships evolve throughout this show, how Leanne takes a liking to Dorothy, and she hates Sean. And just kind of what, how that progresses you out about how when she finds out what Dorothy has done, how she starts to hate her, like really, really hate her. And how Sean kind of becomes a voice of reason to her. And just watching that progressive progression of the characters and their relationships, I thought that was an interesting element. This show is incredibly well directed. Like I said, it looks great. It's very tense and atmospheric. It draws you in and the performances are all great. But my biggest problem with this season is... The finale. I did not like the finale to this season whatsoever. I didn't find it to be satisfying. When you've been building questions up for the entire season, you want a little bit of a payoff in the finale. And I just didn't get that here. In fact, it introduces more questions and it starts teasing elements of the show that I'll go more into in season two, but it starts teasing elements that I really do not like. And it's just, we still don't know if that was actually Baby Jericho who came back, or how they came back, what kind of magic is on display here, what are the limitations of that magic, and just the fact that Sean decided to burn his hand because he can't feel anything, it's just, I don't get why he would do that. Like, to be fair, I've never had a moment where I've never felt pain in my hand, but I can assure you that if I did, I wouldn't immediately burn it to and crisp it up to no end. Seems like a very questionable decision if you ask me. And even the decision of Leanne leaving them. Why? Because she found out how Dorsey really was. Was that really what caused her to leave? That's it. So she came here to help them out. And because Dorsey did a horrific act, she left. Like, I understand it. It's just not satisfying narratively. 
and then the clock, the guardian angels take the baby, and I'm just like, really? Why? Like, I, I really just didn't have a sense of what was going down in this finale, and I just didn't find any of it to be satisfying, and I didn't find it leaving more. In fact, it started to seem like it was getting too big for its own good, which I'll definitely go more in depth with, with my spoiler review for season two, but I did, I thought this finale was incredibly underwhelming. Up until that point, it raises questions really well, it eases you into the show, and you want to know what's going on, but any hint of the payoff that this show has planned is just doesn't do it for me. So I do enjoy this show, I do think there's lots of great elements of it, but just some of the writing and the direction they end up taking this story just didn't do it for me. So I'm going to go ahead and give Sylvan Season 1 a 7.5 out of 10. It's still definitely a show you should watch, it's very unique, it's very atmospheric, and it's good to have a good horror show that keeps you on edge, but there's definitely issues with the writing here. So anyways, have you seen Sylvan Season 1? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon, and Gavin out.